coming back and I don't know why she's coming back. So I better check up on her because it's the right thing to do. I don't want to, but apparently it's in the captain's code of no, I'm only kidding. Yeah, I'm just gonna go check up on her because I don't know what's happening. There's that storm over there, maybe she's freaked out. It's not going to catch you, I think. That's out there. But how about we go together and then I'll drop you back. You want to do that? Oh, yeah. Right. Right, let's go and noise some pelicans, hey? Oh, it's a little island. Yeah. Did you go jump on that little island? No, I went here and then all the seven pelicans flew away at once. Tied on. Bye bye, little canoe. I'll see you in an hour or so. Maybe. Possibly. All right, pineapple beer, battered fish, aioli. Who's jacketing or what? This is pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's very delicious. Yeah. How could it not be? It's fried. Deep fried. Yeah, that's right. So you think you're fitting in the boat? You think it's all good? Everything going well? It's pretty cruisy existence, is it? How could I not say yes with the captain standing right next to me? Damn straight. You know, if you any negativity, overboard people, walk the plank, keel haul, you know, all the good stuff. No, you can be honest, go on. <laughs> what's what's honest. your main criticism of the captain? Come on, there's, there's probably about 73. He kind of feels like he has to film everything. It's pretty annoying. I don't know what she means there by that, people. It is a vlog. Yeah, okay, but that's, that's not really a criticism about me. As a person. As a person. You're interrupting me from eating dinner? Uh, yeah, she's being polite. Like, not like the Italians, they just got stuck into me. Oh, Peter, oh, it was this and this and this and this. Just kept on going on and on and on and on, people. It was like a 40 minute episode. And those are the days when I only did five minute episodes. I had to cut it back, too. Yeah, Italians, they got stuck into me. You should watch that. It's kind of funny, that episode. All right, I'm getting stuck into it, people, because I'm missing out. She's eating all the good bits. All right, uh, it's all happening here, people. It's bloody great. Fatted fish, you can't. You just, I mean, you, you can't, you can't lose with battered fish, people. It's bloody great. All right, good night. Have you got your hammock? Yeah, sure. Where is it? Here. Isn't that a bit small? Well, it fits my size. Really? Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at this. Looks comfy. It's a bit small. Going out to put our hammock. That's right, it's an internet hammock day. We're gonna find a big tree. Because we're on the wrong side of the, the island, we can't get the uh, service. So we're just going on this side and find a tree, put it up and sit in the hammocks and do the, and be retarded for like an hour just to get in contact with the world. Well, just one of us will because the other one's phone will be up the tree. Yeah. She's doing all the sacrifices. See that tree? That's my hammock tree. The one going horizontally out of the water. Okay, we'll have a look. Oh, this one there. I was looking at that one. You mean that one? This one. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, um, how good are you at uh, climbing, climbing up trees? Tree. Should be doable. It's doable. You're a mountaineer. Come on, show us your muscles. You'll be good. <laughs> it might be a tad on the high side. 
Uh, we might have to find something a little less um, arduous. Hey people, paradise again. These people have um, <coughs> abandoned the island, no doubt because of the COVID. You know, it's healthier for them to be in a big bustling city where there's COVID cases all over the place. Uh, because out here you could get really sick. Good on your authorities, top stuff. All right, that's your tree. That's a great tree, Lisa. Oh, baby, that's unreal. Hey, I just thought I could string my one from that one to that one. You know, because uh, Lisa needs some nice peace and quiet. And we can be next to each other again. You know, something completely different. I suppose you want your book and a drink of water and a like massage oil and stuff. I'll accept the massage. Okay, no massage. See, I tried to slip it in. She picked it up, people! Thank you very much. Oh my goodness, look at the service here. Oh, it's great, look at that. This is perfect. It's a tough life, people, isn't it? Now where's my coconut? Do you hear that, people? I think I need new crew. Keep smiling. Tense those jaw muscles. <laughs> it's like perfect. How could I not be smiling? Yeah, I know, but after about 30 seconds, it starts to get a bit tough. Uh, I've still got the oh, Jared Jappa Joe chin, don't I? It's, it's, it's a bit off, isn't it, still, people? But it's less bad. Oh, it's less bad. You drained all out. All this fluid came out of my face, people. Anyway, probably the brains. Right, now I have to find a big stick so I can put the uh, put uh, Lisa's phone up a tree as high as it can go, so we can get some hot spot and get some contact with the world. I really don't want to, but you know, you gotta. Ah, I think I know what this is. The technical term for this in Australia, that's the shitter. There we go. That's culture, more culture on this channel. You got it right here, people. It's about the truth and it's about culture. That's it. Oh, and you know, paradise, of course. There we go, there's paradise lost. That's um, fiberglass someone tried to burn and of course someone burnt a gas cylinder. Yep, good on your yachties, top stuff, well done. So I've cleaned up, what, three islands now? I mean, this is not so bad because this is eventually going to rust, but I just don't get how yachties try to burn aluminium cans. I mean, far out, collect the cans, give them to the gooners, and then they get money for it when they go back to recycle. I mean, far out. It's not hard. It's just another bag in your boat. Anyway, I don't get it. Some are really good, but I tell you what, some are really bad. I think this is a bit of a path. Go check it out. I think we've come from the lagoon. I mean, there's no water in it now, but I think when it rains, it gets, um, it's all, the ground is all really swampy. Um, we've got three little settlements on this island. I think we're going up to one now. Looks like a path. I would love to live in a place like this. I would love it. I'd be up at the crack of dawn, or what we say in Australia, sparrows fart. Have you ever heard of sparrow fart, people? 
Well, if you haven't, you haven't got up early enough. There you go, there's a bit more Australian culture. So you get up at Sparrows Park, four, and probably collapse as the sun went down every day. Be awesome. Fishing, getting crayfish, dealing with yachties, trying to sell some arts and crafts that I made that look like a three-year-old made. Yep, that would be pretty awesome. This is the place I was anchored um, for a couple of weeks when I got hit by lightning and I was waiting for the weather window. There was that hurricane that was going up north and I was going to use the tail end of it to push me forward because I had headwinds and I didn't want to um, be tacking all the time. And so I made that mistake where I gave them all my food um, because I thought I was leaving the next day. So I gave them all my rice, big bag of rice, 10 kilo bag of rice and a couple of cans and, um, and then, <laughs> And then the wind went west. Uh, it was supposed to be south, and then it went west for two weeks. So, yeah, that's all right. I caught a big cubera, and that lasted a few days. But you know, fishing, fishing's good. It's all good. I didn't starve people. I think I'm on the highest point of the island, literally, on this fossilized coral, because that island's not high at all, at all. At least this one's protected by that reef over there and the chance of it getting wiped away is small but some of them, like at Cocos Banderas, far out. Well, in the two years I've been here, this, well, all the islands are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. There's like, one island's like practically not there anymore. Anyway, I'll come back next time and it'll be like just a uh, sandbank. And the sandbanks that I saw two years ago, well, they're underwater now. Anyway, that's progress. Oh, and there's their water pit. Yeah, it's fresh. I think it's got a snail living in it though. Well, that needs to be dug out and reinforced around the sides. All right, now I've got to find this stick. All right, this will do. Do you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> That's the knots going. It's a palm tree going. I'm not happy with this weight. I think we should go the other way around. The other way is higher. Probably. For now I'm here like this. Ah, people, it's a tough life. You know, someone's got to do it and film it and then edit it for like 70 hours and then, you know, go crazy and want to pull their hair out and, you know, basically wreck the whole moment. But Someone's got to do it. Okay, those very loose half hitches I did uh, have now slipped down. It's okay, all I have to do is arch my back like this. It's very comfortable. The hotspot's working. Hold your horses. Lisa. How comfortable are you in that hammock? A lot. I think it needs to go higher. My hammock? No. Oh. Higher, Lisa, higher. You can do better than that. Right, hold it right there, that's good. Just hold that for 45 minutes. I'll say answer all the comments from the three views I got. Mainly from the relatives. Oh no, people. We're gonna do some artistic gymnastics. It's called partner acrobatics. I'm not feeling that strong, so I'm gonna be the woman and I'm gonna be on top. 
<laughs> there you go. There's another good old Australian comment. We haven't trained for this, people. What am I doing? Um, holding my hands. This is already tickling me. What? It's like I'm ticklish. <laughs> I'm ticklish here. Oh. Right Which way? This way. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I thought I was flying, people. All right. <laughs> I, I suppose it's making <laughs> making jokes right. whilst we're doing Straighten this. Straighten your arms. Your arms straight and. I got gorilla arms. Yeah, I don't care. Look, I'm flat. Whoa! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> See how good we are, people. Never had one lesson. It's so ticklish. <laughs> All right, can you not make a banana? Look at that. It's amazing. I'm king of the world, people! Oh shit! Whoa! Oh, I can foresee our future. I don't think I'm gonna do the twirly twirly. <laughs> I don't think so. Either. You know the Chinese ones, they do the. Yes. I think that. that's gonna have to be done at the second lesson, people. Okay? Now, chuck me! <laughs> Alright, so put your feet on my. Yeah. You ready? Well, I'm good. <laughs> All right. Uh, can you straighten your legs? No. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> oh, that was good. All right. Ready, set, go. Whoa, baby. <laughs> no, terminal lead. <laughs> okay. So, uh, <laughs> Jesus, that was a bit far back. <laughs> oh, <f> <laughs> I'm gonna do a shoulder stand, oh. so I'm gonna get my arms up. And if you let me down, I'll just bump into your head. Okay. You ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Oh Jesus! <laughs> okay, ready? go. Oh shit! <laughs> All right, go. I'm ready this time. Yeah, go. <laughs> I think I'm a natural. Well, yeah, <laughs> sort of. You have to really lean back. Just to warm up, people. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're going to be winning any Olympic gold medals, people. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Ta da! <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but I think we did pretty well. <laughs> Hello, people. Welcome to Plucky's Kitchen. We've got, um, our um, fish prepared. I didn't film it because you know how to cut up fish. I'm trying this seafood blend by Kinders. I'm not uh, affiliated with them in any shape or form. Good on you, Mr. Kinder. Oh, just kidding. Uh, I'm going to try this. Um, basically, normally I used to just put salt, um, but this is like a whole lot of salt and stuff in it. So we'll see. I'll give it a crack. Um, Notice how I've sliced the fish up just to get some of the, the goodness in there, some of the salt to go in there. Uh, also, do you notice that um, half the mutton has been um, filleted? It's just to get the heat, because uh, the fish is too fat, it'll just take too long and it's only a little, um, little uh, smoker, so... Just to get it cooked faster, people. Anyway, it's very, very easy. We'll try this and we'll let you know how it goes. Wow, people. It's been ages since I've done the triple decker. I hate using the triple decker because, oh, there's my face in there. Mm -hmm. There you go, see, nothing but quality people. I hate using the triple decker because this sort of just balances there. <laughs> and so it can sort of fall off. But we got a lot of fish. Woohoo, baby. All right, the smoke is on, people. And, uh, what was, what did I get the camera for? 
<laughs> we haven't had smoked I'm fish a bit in tired, people. ages. I'm a bit tired. People are still suffering from the, the jaw bite by the dog snapper. And so my Jared Depper jaw has now leaked into my brain. Anyway, uh, we haven't had smoked fish in a long time. In ages. In ages. And you know why, people? Because always... When I went, <laughs> I would have smoked fish. He just made fun of me and was like, oh, you could have smoked fish all the time, even for breakfast. And Actually, was, no, no, that wasn't the reason. The reason was... Uh, you were too lazy to clean the smoker. Yeah, because the smoker's a real bugger. But to bugger. cover up for that, he would just make fun of me. And then no, I, I was make, into... Yeah, I was yeah. making fun of you with the pineapple because oh. Lisa was we're most destroyed. She's, she's still destroyed. We've got more discussions. We had another discussion about <laughs> pineapples today. Anyway... Uh, smoke fish is on, and um, I'm going to play the wonderful game of bags not cleaning the smoker. Oh, and we're making chips too. Yeah. Can can we do the discussion on the chips this afternoon? Oh, I would like to give you some insight into the female psyche. Lisa, you want to give your version first? Yes. All right, let's hear Lisa's so version first. He came home with a lot of fish and was going for, we we're going to have smoked fish. And we had a really big lunch. So like, I made naan and we had fried fish on top and there was a lot of aioli and it was plenty. It was very good. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. I'm supporting your arguments. Thank you. And what it, it was a lot. So it's it was a eight lot. now and we're still not hungry and because we ate And usually we only eat once a day mainly, Yeah. don't we? One big meal. So... He came back with a lot of fish and said, we're going to make smoked fish a lot. And I was like, okay, but maybe then it would be too much to also make chips. Because we're still full, right? And then he was asking me... So far, this is reasonably accurate. <laughs> and then he, he was asking me, so then do you want to just boil the potatoes? And I was in my head going for, no, boiled potatoes are not as good as chips. And I was rather going for, do we actually want potatoes or do we want to have a salad? Because that would be lighter. Uh, but if are you sure? To, I think you're if, putting no, this. No, no, I no. think you're interjecting. <laughs> Just, ah. no, I'm not done. I'm not done. <laughs> okay. So if the, we're going to... The reasonably to accurate part of the story is now dwindling. <laughs> So if we're actually going to have <laughs> potatoes for dinner, I'd rather have them as chips as as boiled potatoes because I don't really like boiled potatoes. Okay. So. Right. so what it really boiled down to was this. Um, I said, uh, so you don't want chips, we can have uh, boiled potatoes. And then she had this so crestfallen face. It was like... She had an ice cream and she was four years of age and I grabbed the ice cream and I chucked it in the bin. So imagine that face on Lisa. And I said, what? Uh, what, you want uh, chips? Even though she just previously explained why we ought not to have chips because it was too much. So that's the true state of affairs, people. So I didn't know, the whole argument was, she said she didn't want chips, but she really did want chips. Well, if we're having potatoes, of course I want chips because it's way better than boiled potatoes. Well, so what you say, you see, your male would go, I want chips. Done. End of story. Wow, this looks good. This looks delicious. Let's just try it first. We haven't had smoked fish in such a long time that it ought to be super tasty. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. That's how you do it. Okay, your turn. Mm. Excellent. Well done. Smoked fish, people. All you need is two sinks, block off the holes, and throw in something that smokes. Bloody great. So easy. Bon appetit, people. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.